It is Hockey Fights Cancer Month, and today we're gonna to share a story with you about Kathleen and Kevin and their personal battles with cancer. One who's battling brain cancer and the other who has been an absolute hero right here in our own community. Today we'll get their story, and at the end, we'll have a little surprise for you. The Oncology Services Program Manager. It's a big title. Can you just tell me what you do? So I'm blessed with, I think, one of the best jobs ever. Um, so I'm a physical therapist by trade, and um, several years ago I was asked, since I'm also a massage therapist, if there's any benefit to massage when people are undergoing cancer treatment. So with that, I went through a bunch of additional training so that we could provide massage to people when they're undergoing cancer treatment to help comfort them. And sometimes that means what can we do to help them relax and calm down. So one of the other programs that they asked me to start was yoga. So the type of yoga we do is what we call restorative yoga. So it's to help people calm down their nervous system and help them relax during cancer treatment. And I also help create our oncology rehab program. And then one of the other hats I get to wear are great programs like our partnerships that we have with the Avalanche and with other sports teams. When somebody gets diagnosed with cancer, the statistics show within that first year, you have over 100 appointments with physicians or other care providers and team members. So most of them aren't very fun, but it's so nice to have something fun to say, hey, do you want to go to an abs game? I mean, it makes a huge difference and for our patients as well as their family members. The word cancer, you know, um, it's a hard word to say. How do you deal with that on a daily basis? When I first started working with cancer patients, um, I remember people saying like, why are you shifting to cancer? And like, why are you gonna take on this whole thing with oncology, massage, and cancer? Like, it's so sad, and yes, there are sad stories, but we can make a huge impact. We can really improve their quality of life, and with the different programs that I helped, I was blessed to help create and develop. There are really, really hard times, but, um, but there are some really, really good stories. But last year, the last few years have been tougher. Um, Two years ago, Kevin was, my husband Kevin, was diagnosed with a brain tumor and it was really, a really, really rare brain tumor. And it's a miracle he's here today. So um, great treatment, great doctors, and he's had two major brain surgeries and chemo and radiation. And then last year, my mom was diagnosed. For the past year, we were blessed to spend as much time as possible with her and she passed away on June 30th. Um, but my family was able to spend some really, really good quality time with her. To steal from a hockey term, which the players use a lot, which is day by day, even keel, do you guys live day by day, moment by moment? I think we've learned to do that. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I don't know that I would be alive right now if she wasn't my wife. Um, I think I'm going to to, uh, beat this now. His scans are saying that he's stable right now, so we're calling him our miracle on ice this year. How do you manage your own emotions and feelings and ups and downs? And how do you do it? Um, I think a lot of prayer and lots of support from Kevin. I don't think of it as a job. I just feel blessed every day that my passion meets God's purpose. And then if you ever want to do restorative yoga, you can do that from home. The whole idea is to help relax your nervous system and it helps your immune system and just calm down. Helps yes. family members. Yeah. She has a very positive attitude, but she is so passionate and patient-centered. Really for her, it's all about the patients and their families. And sometimes it's just her voice and her words of encouragement. She just touches people's hearts so well, over and over and over. She is 100% sincere. She's not saying, if she says something to somebody like, you're gonna get through this. She believes it. She's not just saying those words. And so I think she's just totally honest with them and they just, I think they just find her to be an amazing coworker, friend, person. That's 92. Thank you. <laughs> Go 
How's it going? Thank you for coming to say hi. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank you so How are much. How you doing so far today? Doing, doing good. good. Yeah, pretty right. good. How are you guys doing? Thank you. We're doing okay. Yeah. What Thanks. Are your names? I'm Kathleen Mickey. Kathleen? Kevin. Kevin. Whoa. What do you want me to write? Go right in. Who do you want me to sign it to? Kathleen. Kathleen? Not often that I'm speechless, but I am, so, so I don't even know what to say. <laughs> wow. Thank you. I know I'm not allowed to give you a hug. Can I pretend? Absolutely. Oh, virtual. <laughs> you Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank wow. you so much. It was a pleasure meeting you guys. Thank you. Oh, you guys have fun so next week? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Something All right, to look forward to. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Oh my goodness. Thanks for everything you guys do. Thank you for giving us something to look forward to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow.